Hi, friends. <clears throat> oh, boy. You know, I was just sitting here thinking. I, I <laughs> Don't ask me how these thoughts come into my mind, but I remembered uh, one night doing rescue duty down in uh, North Carolina, the city I served, uh, served in. And uh, I was, you know, duty crew. And uh, we, uh, well, we were riding around, you know, eating hamburgers here and there and uh, maybe getting someone who needed to go to the, maybe some elderly person had to get to the hospital because their gallbladder was acting up or something. But all in all, nothing too serious. And then all of a sudden we get a, we get a call that a guy's pinned underneath a truck. He, he and his car just crashed into, uh, into the bottom of a tanker truck <clears throat> and help is needed. <laughs> well, that would be us. So, uh, we, we go flying down there and Oh my gosh. And, and they said, yeah, it looked like he was stuck pretty bad. We get there and uh, of course, look the situation over. It's dark. In fact, it was probably around, uh, oh gosh, probably around midnight. And, uh, you know, and, and we, we go running up to the, to the, to the pickup truck that indeed was stuck under, uh, the, the main body of this trailer. And it was a trailer hauling some kind of gas. Yeah, some kind of gas. And we don't see the driver anywhere. And we're thinking, my God, the driver ran off. What, what's going on here? <laughs> Meanwhile, I mean, the driver of the big rig is gone. We don't know where he is. Uh, we're uh, scratching our heads. And, uh, I, of course, we, we have the injured fella. He wasn't killed, uh, but he was, he was stuck. He couldn't get out of the car. We said, can you get out of that car? He says, no. He says, my foot's caught. I said, oh, my God, what's your foot caught on? We open up the door and we see. Uh, and it wasn't anything really too grisly, but he just, his foot somehow went under. <clears throat> Go figure, maybe he was standing on the brakes or something, but his foot somehow got under the clutch pedal of his little mini pickup truck. Right. And he can't get it out. And, oh. And his, his, his leg and ankle, his uh, shin and ankle hurt real bad, which meant uh, by looking at it, it was fractured. It was, you know, where it should be like that, it was more like that. And uh, yeah, I said, oh, God, you got a fracture. It hurts pretty bad. He says, it hurts something awful. I said, we got to get you out of here. God. He, I, and I said to my, uh, my rescue partner, let's call him Bill. I don't believe that was his name. Paul. I think his name was Paul. I say, Paul, you, how about go find out uh, what's, uh, what's in this truck? He says, well, what do we need to know? I said, well, what if it's uh, flammable or something? We got we to gotta, we gotta sort of know that. He says, yeah, you're right. And I said, meanwhile, I'll see if I can figure something out with this pedal. Well, we're messing with the pedal. And gosh, if you try to tug on it, the poor guy goes right through the roof. And uh, well... Long story short, again, uh, Paul comes by and he says, well, I, I, I don't think we got to worry. I, I said, what do you mean? He, he says, well, that's uh, the truck's full of hydrogen. Oh, I said, what? Hydrogen? He says, yeah, hydrogen. I said, well, that's no good. He said, well, what's wrong with hydrogen? It's, that's, that's what water's made out of. I said, yeah, but hydrogen, I, I got one word for you, Hindenburg. Hindenburg, what about the Hindenburg? Remember that fire it had, that yeah, you know, back in the thirties or whatever it was. He says, yeah. He said it was full of hydrogen. He's, oh my God, oh, and and we sort of had to whisper it, you know, because we didn't want the patient to find out. He he's still stuck there, and well, he heard us anyway. So now he's saying, my God, you boys got to get me out of here. I said, well, we're going to do our best. We're working on it. He said, yank on that pedal. He said, I can take it. I would go to Yankees. Oh my God, that hurt so bad. I can't take it. Well, we had to eventually. We did. If if you worked it a certain way, eventually we got the we got the uh, the uh, the pedal moved enough that if with a little bit of care we and holding everything as steady as I could, you know, ankle and all that. And I think Paul was in the other side of the uh, the vehicle. It went in the passenger door. He's holding the shin. That was fractured too. We got it, moved it, you know, all in unison, got it to where it was free, 
uh, I believe, cut the shoe off and put a, uh, put one of these compressible uh, dressings on his uh, a cast on his uh, foot. And out he went. Oh, he says, God, I'm glad to be out of there. I said, yeah, we started far enough away from this this truck. He said, well, how far do we got to be? I'd say, if that's full of hydrogen, we got to be about we got to be about a quarter mile away. Paul, did you call the police and all that? He said, yeah, they're en route. They'll be here. I said, oh, my God. And then all of a sudden we look, and here's a guy who looks like a trucker. And we said, sir, this your truck? He says, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. How's that fellow doing? I said, he's got a fractured foot. He said, well, I didn't even see him. He just crashed right, come right through the, maybe his brakes failed or something. He went right through. And I, I, I ran to find a phone booth. This is before... Um, yeah, before um, smartphones. <clears throat> and I guess maybe he didn't have a uh, CB or couldn't get anyone on the line. One way or another, he, he now, he was there and uh, with us again. And we, I said, so what's the deal? I said, what's in this truck? He says, hydrogen. Oh, but he says, you don't got to worry. It's empty. I said, are you sure it's empty? I mean, no hydrogen? Because even hydrogen just sitting in that tank could be explosive. He says, yes, it could, but no, we pull it all out and trans uh, uh, replace it with air. I said, oh, okay, then we're all right. He says, yeah, yeah, nothing going to blow up. Yeah, my boss going to blow up when he hears what happened, but other than that, no, we're fine. We ain't going to die tonight. I said, oh, that's, that's a relief. Did you hear that, fella? I say to the guy, he says, yeah, that's good. Can I get to the hospital? I said, yep, let's get you going. And we went flying off and well, never heard anything else about it. But I remember after we got him to the hospital, and uh, after we got him to the hospital and, uh, you know, uh, had a coffee, uh, Paul got, well, over coffee, Paul and I got to talk, and I said, you know, I'm just sitting here thinking a minute. We're, here we are. We were, back then, we were in the middle of some kind of um, fuel shortage. I said, you know, we're all here. We are hurting for uh, fossil fuel and all that. You know what? Couldn't they think of? You think someone could think of a way to take hydrogen and oxidize it, which would cause a fire? I mean, that would be a fire, and you turn it into water. Yeah, hydrogen going through. Uh, I think it creates when I think, I think the result of oxygen hydrogen burning is energy plus water. Paul says, well, that would make sense. And he said, how'd you uh, know all that? I said, well, I'm not sure I'm right, but I think I think it would, but there would be a, a humongous fire as a result. I mean, we almost got that firsthand. He said, darned if you ain't right. And, you know, we kind of left it at that, but I now I, today I was out looking at the river out back, and I said, Doug, that's, that's a big source of hydrogen if you can figure out how to do it. And the thing is, whatever you took out, you mix it with oxygen and burn it. You get a fire, energy, and the uh, going up the exhaust pipe of the uh, of the of the boiler would be would be water, right? And that would eventually cool down, quit being steam, and uh, condense to uh, clouds, and poof, we got water uh, raining all over us. I, I I wonder. I mean, has anyone thought of this? I I can't. I I know I'm not the only one. There must be a catch somewhere. If you know, uh, maybe you can, uh, if, if you can't explain it necessarily, if you can find an article, just post it to this uh, YouTube video. Would you be so kind? Or if you can do the video, yeah, do it. Uh, I, I just, I would think there'd be your source of energy. We got, I mean, right now in the, in the air here, it's so doggone humid here in North Jersey uh, that, frankly, it'd be nice for it to be a little drier. I mean, you wouldn't want to take all the rain. But boy, it'd be nice to have some energy. And if the water just comes back, well, no, no big whoop, right? I mean, you got lots of water in the ocean. Last I heard. You know, probably have to take the salt and the shrimp out of it. But other than that, uh, anyway, I don't know. Uh, there's got to be something. It, like I said, it's been a while since I was in uh, Mr. Schmiel's chemistry class back in, uh, in high school. But... Uh, I would think there's got to be something someone can do. Well, there you go. If you make a few million, a few trillion doing that, hey, remember your pal Doc. Okay, I'll see you later.
even a few bucks. Okay. Bye now. God bless.